Hi, I'm Jacqueline Deep, Subject Advisor for Art Design and Media at Pearson. This short video is designed to help centers understand the annotation requirements for the GCSE Art and Design qualification. The Principal's Report is written each year and is available on the GCSE Art and Design website. It is a very helpful resource as it reviews key observations from moderators following their visits throughout the examination series. This paragraph is taken from the published GCSE Art and Design specification. Written annotation should be purposeful, not descriptive. The purpose of integrated annotation is to allow students to critically analyze the work of others, critically analyze their own work, expand on the idea behind the work, explain connections between images made and found. The following slides provide answers to questions frequently asked about annotation. These are seven frequently asked questions that I will address in this video. Regarding question one, spelling, punctuation, and grammar are not assessed as part of this qualification. Specialist vocabulary are words used by the candidate to describe the media and medium used to create the work, the technique and processes used to create the work, the subject matter and composition, referring to the formal elements, line, shape, space, form, tone, texture, pattern, and color. For example, I used the somato technique for the face using chalk pastels so the portrait appeared soft and youthful in contrast to the harsh, jagged lines of the street background. Annotations should be relevant and informed, not merely descriptive. For question three, it is the candidate's choice whether they type or handwrite their annotation. For question four, descriptive annotation is describing the work of others or your own work without critical or visual analysis, such as bibliographical information about an artist, craftsperson, photographer, or designer. Purposeful annotation is critically analyzing the work of others and their own work, expanding on the ideas behind the work, and explaining connections between images made and found. For example, in a three-dimensional design project, the candidate could explain their intentions and why they chose to use different thicknesses of perspex in the construction processes, so their lampshade design would be robust, functional, and as intended. They could also make reference to work by artists and designers and explain why they were inspired and development of ideas. The following slides will demonstrate examples of descriptive and purposeful annotation. This is an example of a candidate producing a large amount of descriptive annotation about the American photographer Imogen Cunningham. This is mainly biographical in content with some personal observations. They state, Imogen Cunningham was an American photographer known for her botanical photography, nudes, and industrial landscapes. I personally really like Imogen Cunningham's style of art. I want to do some of my photos based on her work. There is no requirement to produce this much annotation. The candidate could have made a brief statement about the visual characteristics of Imogen Cunningham's work in reference to the images shown, and how the subject matter, photographic processes, and techniques relate to their own investigation and development of ideas. This is an example of a candidate producing a small amount of descriptive annotation. The work of American artist Janet Fish is referenced and annotated in a descriptive way. The annotation states, Janet Fish was known for her colorful still life painting, particularly focusing on transparency and reflective light. This candidate describes the visual characteristics of Janet Fish's work, but there is a lack of critical analysis or ability to reflect on their own work in response to this investigation. Architectural sources inspire the candidate on this slide to draw upon their key characteristics and make informed initial digital designs for a series of buildings. The candidate's annotation is purposeful. They analyze the work of others and their own work, expand on the idea behind the work, and explain connections between images made and found. They state, the way I have incorporated both buildings into my own idea is by creating a spiraling form into a main structure, which I think is both unique and yet simple. I think by adding a second spiraling stairway, it would look more complex as well as giving the building more structure. This example shows a series of small preparation studies in pencil, exploring composition and viewpoint. The candidate uses short bullet points in note form to analyze each drawing as a potential composition. The annotation is purposeful, insightful, and conveys deeper meaning to the candidate's intentions. For example, they state distortion of mouth, disconcerting, disturbing, and distorts expression, aligns well with golden ratio. Also, looking upwards, sense of disempowerment and fear. 
For question five, the purpose of integrated written annotation is to be supportive of the visual evidence and not in any way as a replacement for the practical work. The expectation is quality over quantity. There is no set amount of annotation expected. There is no requirement for students to produce extended pieces of writing. This annotation is a good example of enough. The candidate has added a couple of sentences that fully demonstrates the candidate's insightful association with seasonal and personal aspects of autumn in their choice of the formal elements. The candidate annotates with these words, I was inspired by autumn as a season that encourages community and bonding with those closest for some, while introducing loneliness for others. I made studies of autumnal imagery to consider whether there were elements I wanted to include in my final piece. For question six, there is no requirement to write biographical information on artists. It is more valuable to critically analyze the work of others in order to demonstrate an understanding of the sources that have inspired or informed the candidate's work. There is no need for question seven to include extensive evaluations either. However, there is value in evaluating and reflecting on their own work and that of others throughout their investigations. This can be brief and in note form. In conclusion, the purpose of annotation is to show an understanding of the work of other practitioners and the degree to which contextual exploration informs the growth of candidates' personal ideas and outcomes. Annotations should be relevant and informed and not merely descriptive. There is no requirement for students to produce extended pieces of writing. Art and design is fundamentally a visual subject and visual responses using visual language should be encouraged. For further advice and guidance, please see the GCSE Art and Design Written Annotation Guide in our Teaching and Learning Materials under the Guide drop-down menu. For further clarification, advice and guidance, please feel free to contact us using the support details on this slide. In addition, there are links to view our new bite-sized videos focused on how to evidence and assess each of the assessment objectives, as well as sign up for future training and events. Thank you for watching and I look forward to supporting you and your centre.